Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video interaction, we will discuss what are SVAG diagrams and how they are used for designing CAM profile. CAM profile. For understanding this lecture, you must know that what is a CAM follower mechanism? What are different types of CAM follower mechanisms? And after successfully attending this interaction, you will be able to understand what are SVAG diagrams, what is their significance in a CAM. So, Whenever we are going to design a CAM follower mechanism, we make or identify a mathematical function which is to be used for the motion of the follower. This function, if it is plotted, makes a graph or a plot or a curve. So what we do that the CAM, if it is considered a rotating cam it is a circular shape we try to unwrap it or make it on a linear axis by linearizing it on a Cartesian axis and then we plot its decimal displacement function known as s so if you think about the cam which is some shape like this one and this is the center of this cam for sure this cam will have some base small diameter and over and above that base diameter the remaining portion of this cam will be this one this will be the portion of the profile which will be causing the motion of the follower so this is on a circular center but we try to unwrap it and put it on a linear scale so something like if i draw this curve it will be something like that where s will be towards the horizontal axis so after the base, this base from this to this, this portion, this uh, double mark portion will be present on this S graph with some shape. We basically define the cam degrees where X axis is theta or time and the Y axis have some motion. Okay. So this profile basically is coming from this unwrapping the cam circular motion. And this is over and above the base circle. So uh, similarly, we take the derivative of this displacement function and make the velocity curve. And similarly, the velocity has its derivative to give the acceleration of the cam when the cam uh, follower mechanism is rotating and also in cam design the jerk is important and jerk is the derivative the third derivative of displacement so the displacement basically is the machined or physical surface and it is made while keeping in mind the other three derivatives the velocity acceleration and jerk and these have their impacts on cam follower mechanisms so you have to draw up till jerk to see how the cam and follower will behave when the cam follower mechanism is continuously working for your required motion uh, and as i told you that the x-axis or the aligned axis will be either theta or time Theta and or time, the angle of cam or the time used by the cam in rotation 
both can be used as the independent variable so displacement velocity acceleration and jerk will be plotted against these uh, two one of these two independent variables and this is made while keeping in mind that angular velocity of the camshaft is uh, constant so if the angular velocity is constant if we use theta or time it doesn't matter if you are using time we have to input the omega and if you are using theta uh, you can directly plot it and after you have plotted it you can multiply it with omega uh, or divide it omega depending on which independent you have used variable you have used and you can draw it so if you are making a profile this can be even in degrees like 30 degree or 60 degree or 90 degrees so do you you make your uh, cam design divide your cam design into equal or unequal segments for each degrees also you can use if you are not comfortable with the degrees you can convert these degrees by dividing this theta by omega and then you can have your time in seconds let's say for example maybe it comes one second or 0.5 second okay and here it comes maybe one second okay so similarly you have the option to plot either with time or angle. So this is an example of a four dwell cam system. And this uh, example has four dwells in it. So basically this is a CEP type of cam profile in which you have, you know, the critical extreme positions. It has eight segments in it and if i mark mark them there are two four six and eight are the dwells so that's why this is known as four dwell and between these four dwells there are some different types of functions used in the first segment it is cycloidal it is mod sign the second one then there is mod modified trapezoid rise and simple harmonic fall so rise and fall of the cam follow mechanism is also defined here and also the segments have been defined so first segment will be 60 then 30 then 60 then 30 then 60 so likewise there will be total of 360 degrees for one revolution so it is also giving the angular velocity and also uh, no no it is not giving angular velocity because there is no time mentioned but it is telling you the segments for the one revolution 360 degrees so if we know the angular velocity we can convert it into time as well so let's see how it's cam profile on svag diagram looks like so this is it this is its svag diagram and if you see that this diagram has its eight segments and in all these eight segments uh, all of these functions have been plotted and in the dwell you see the displacement is horizontal because there is no change of the base diameter of the cam and when you take their derivatives this is their values so remember the concept of derivatives and as well as integrals when you are working with the svag diagram because it is not necessary that you work with displacement only it is possible that you can start with acceleration start with acceleration and take its integrals until you reach displacement and take one of its derivative to get jerk so we you can you will further know with other videos that displacement is not the case where we start always okay so that's why the concept of integral and where derivative should be very much clear to you so this is how you can see the profiles for uh, cam uh, are shown here in a linearized way on cartesian axis where all of 360 degree, degree revolution is shown in different eight segments so number of segments is also important which you will learn with from my other videos and here you see that how SVAJ diagram helps you in determining how your cam follower mechanism will behave. And this is the base plots which tell you which are very important when you are designing a cam follower mechanism. So you have seen that jerk is the derivative of acceleration. So if we further take the derivative of jerk, what will it be called? and what do you think 
where it should be used. I hope you have liked the video. Don't forget to comment if you have any issues. And if you like and you want to know the further videos uploaded might be, don't forget to subscribe it. Thank you.